Gusto mo ba mag-invest sa stock market pero hindi mo alam kung papaano? We got you! Join our monthly online class now and pwede ka na mag-start mag-invest for as low as 10,000 pesos. This is totally free for everyone. Start your investment journey with us. Click down below to register for free. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode ng ating uh, weekend charting session. And again, ito yung inyong mga stock request no dito sa ating uh, Facebook group and dito yung poll, yung ating poll for stock request. Okay. Um unfortunately, medyo may sore throat tayo ngayon and may klase pa ng FA bukas no, fundamental trading course sa TFT so we have to save our voice para sa klase tomorrow. So, uh we cannot chart this uh, stock request but don't worry sa Wednesday sa live charting ito na yung stock request na gagamitin natin so keep the boat coming para sa Wednesday so yan yun yung gagamitin natin but uh, today we will create a uh, market outlook no? to give you a guidance kung ano yung possible movement ng market in the coming week plus uh, to give us uh, background kung ano yung uh, nangyari sa market and sa economics globally kung bakit ganun ang movement ng market ngayon. Okay. So, start tayo with PSE. So, PSE, ang kanyang value lang is 5 billion. But, dito may makikita kayo 13B. Okay. And, nag-sell ng 15B. Actually, that's uh, net positive pa ng 1.9M. And, 1.1B. Okay. Kung titignan natin sa, sa index. Okay. So, that's, you know, net foreign value is positive 1.9 billion. So, kung iisipin natin, O bakit ganun, di ba? Bakit may locals na, 5, na 13M or 13B tapos net positive ng 1.9B? Pero nag-register lang is 5. Kasi yung 12 billion is nangyari or nanggaling kay uh, Meralco. No? So remember, Meralco has a uh, block sale. Binenta ni JGS yung holdings niya, 9% of, I think 9 or 6% of holdings niya sa Meralco. And binili ni MPI and others are, I think, binili ng, ano, ng broker na. No? So, ayun. So, that's why uh, nagkaroon ng registered na net foreign buying because of dun sa bumiling broker. Okay, masyadong ma-excite dun sa uh, NFB kasi hindi siya actually uh, legit na NFB. Galing siya lang siya sa, sa block sale from Meralco. Okay, so, nonetheless, malaki pa rin yung uh, nag-registered na uh, volume compared sa last few days na umabot lang ng 3.5 no B so ngayon is 5.5 so medyo may substance na yan okay ang hindi lang maganda sa market is uh, nag open siya ng week medyo strong close naman pero week yung opening so mukhang maraming nabuhusan ng mga nagmamadaling pumasok sa opening no sabi natin medyo walang retailers ngayon pero dahil gap up kahapon or nung Thursday, pagpasok nila, ayun, nabuhusan sila. So, kung retailers tayo, huwag tayong magmadali sa opening, no? Um, nagkakabuhusan talaga. Madalas mas maganda sa close. Okay, so that's all for last Friday recap. Okay, um, may pumasok nga rin palang monkeypox sa Philippines, no? That's why nagkaroon ng sell-off during ito, itong parang around 1 o'clock. Kaya nag-panic selling yan. Okay, pero... Sa closing naman is bumalik. Pero yon SM ang uh, nabuhusan. No? SM, JGS, Meralco, and so on. Before we continue, I would like to thank our partner. It's uh, Two Trade Asia Prime. And they have new uh, product, no? yung, yung nasa ads natin. Minsan nasa una ng video, minsan nasa huli. No? But they called it the future of trading. Yun. So for more better faster and uh, more seamless trading experience. So, antayin natin yan. Okay? So, I think mga one month na lang bago na launch yung product natin. So, yon Hope to see you in uh, 2 Trade Asia. Okay. So, sa global naman, no, medyo maraming nangyari ngayong linggo. Okay? Maraming economic data yung lumabas. And, unang-una, uh, meron tayong uh, 
Federal Reserve, no? Federal Reserve uh, hiked the interest rates by 75 basis points, which is if you are uh, watching our uh, market outlook regularly, no? Ang sabi natin dyan is tayo is nasa Team 75, yeah. So, Team 75 tayo. And sabi natin kapag di ba nga, kung naalala nyo pa, no? We have 50 We have 75 and we have 100. Okay? So, sabi natin kapag 75, it's possible na mag-range lang muna. Okay? Kapag 50, kayang maka-breakout dito sa trend line na yan, sa downtrend. And go higher kapag 100, then break down up to around 5.7. Okay? So, yan yung ating... Uh, before, forecast before ng Federal Reserve meeting. So, yun. Lumabas na yung meeting and uh, actually, yun yung nangyari. Yung expectation natin yung nangyari that's 75 basis points. And sabi natin is it's a range trade from there. No? But, pero bago natin tingnan ulit, no? bago natin sabihin kung ano yung possible reaction ng market sa Philippines, let's check sa, sa global. No? Um, With this news, okay, mapapansin natin na uh, ang US is nag-celebrate. Okay, so check nyo yung Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is actually celebrating given that 75 basis points. No, eto yun, uh, Thursday. So, 3 days rally after that meeting. So, they celebrate because of that meeting. Actually, that's, that's negative, di ba? You will think na it's another 75 points. Pero bakit nag-rally? So, another uh, news is ito. After ng 75 basis points, which is negative, uh, meron na naman, naman another bad news, which is the US falls into technical recession, di ba? Kasi nga, ang kanyang GDP is uh, from negative... 1.6 naging negative uh, 0.9 so if there's a two consecutive negative GDP that's a technical recession ngayon isipin natin negative news yan so dapat sell down na naman di ba? sell down na naman yan so kailan ba yung that's 28 uh, 28 is Friday no? so that or Thursday tinan natin so 28 is Thursday no? 28 lumabas So, dapat nung 28, red siya, di ba? Pero hindi. Actually, ang nangyari nung 28, ito yun, is green na naman, di ba? So, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na when bad news becomes good news, okay? So, when bad news becomes good news, ito yan, di ba? Ibig sabihin, something is uh, coming in, di ba? The market is not the economy, okay? Market is always forward-looking. So, ano bang nangyari? Ano bang ina-expect ng market dahil dyan? Kasi, yung 75 basis points, ayan, is actually uh, ina-expect ng, ng institution or ng investors na that is already the peak or the last uh, hawkish uh, decision by the Federal Reserve. May last na yan because... Ang tinitim lang naman nila is inflation. So, if you look at the driver of inflation, ang driver lang naman yan is the oil. Okay? So, if you look at the oil, ayun, bumababa na, di ba? Though, chinachallenge niya yung resistance sa uptrend. Pero, still downtrend na yan. Another is yung uh, wheat. Yun lang naman. Okay? So, yung wheat, o, oh, di ba? Mababa na rin siya. Including yung other uh, metals, other commodities, no? Bababa na rin yan. Plus, ang, ang effect niyan is kung tapos na ang bear market, kung tapos na ang bear sentiment, dahil patay na ang, ang leading indicator ng inflation, so dapat tapos na ang rally ng US bonds. Diba? So, if we check the bonds, 10-year bonds, kita nyo nag-break down na. Okay? So, ayan o. So, head and shoulder. Tapos, ito yung break sa head and shoulder. Okay? Okay, pantayin na pantay yung drawing natin. Pantayin pa natin. Oh, di ba? So, that's a head and shoulder breakdown yun. So, ibig sabihin, 
uh, yung theory natin that the 75 basis points is already the peak kasi dapat kung di ba 75 that's negative dapat umakyat pa yan but hindi umakyat kasi nga peak na again the market is not the economy it's always forward looking so then up in a factor in is the next head meeting which is September and by September possible it's 50 or pending 25 pero i think it's 50 depende sa CPI Oh, depende sa CPI, baka ma-over dan. Pero, if it's 50, mauna ina itong bumagsak. Okay? Yan din ang nangyari sa sa foreign exchange sa dollar. Okay? If you check the lada, dollar, di ba? Ayun know, na, nag-conso na sa taas and then breakdown na. Okay? You know, ponso, darbas, then breakdown pala, breakdown. So, ibig sabihin, nagiging weak na yung dollar because kasi nga dapat kasabay ng bonds yan dapat umakyat yan kasi kung mataas ang hike ng interest rates o oh, so tataas na naman ang dollar di ba? pero hindi baka kasi mag, maging dovish na si Fed in the coming meeting sa September kaya nauna nang bumagsak yan at the same time that's uh, uh, bullish for or the, that's a good sign for Philippines for Philippine currency Okay, so doon sa nagtanong, may, may post kasi ako dito na uh, another good news is bumabagsak na yung, yung dollar. Ayan, another good news yan, di ba? Bumabagsak yung dollar. So may nag-ask yan si Sir Sebastian. Sabi niya bakit naging good news? Kasi if the dollar is going down, ibig sabihin, um, yung, yung kasing infl- problem ng Philippines is inflation, di ba? Ngayon, um, uh, ang root cause ng inflation is oil and wheat. Okay? Remember, oil is being uh, imported uh, using dollar. Hindi ka naman makakabili niyan using peso. So, bilhin mo yun sa dollar. So, kung tumataas yung oil, tapos tumataas yung dollar, that's, that's double whammy, no? Mahal na nang bibilhin mo, i-convert mo yung peso into dollar. Lugi ka pa sa conversion kasi ang mahal ng dollar. So, double whammy yun. So, ngayon, kung nakikita nyo, uh, nagiging weak na yung dollar, Okay, tapos nagiging stable na yung oil, so that's positive. Ibig sabihin, ang inflation sa Philippines is medyo mababa na in the next uh, August CPI. So, yung inflation ng Philippines, which is I think 6.1 yung last. So, most probably, paglabas niyan by August CPI, baka peak na rin yung inflation ng CPI sa Philippines. That's why... Ang Philippines is now uh, medyo nagrarally na siya. Okay? O oh, yun, di ba? Medyo nag, nagrarally na si Philippines dahil dun sa mga good news. Like yung 50 base, 75 basis points which is, is likely peak na. And uh, weaker dollar, stronger currency, weaker uh, oil. So that's the reason kung bakit nagrally yan, nag up. Actually yung, yung Friday closing is just a reaction dun sa monkeypox, no? Kasi paakit na dapat yan. Eh, may pumasok na monkeypox. Nag-factory yun lang. Pero, kita nyo naman, ayun, no? Sinel down, pero nakarecover pa din. And may gap, di ba? May gap. Ibig sabihin, malakas talaga yung demand. So, kung malakas yung demand, syempre, kinabukasan, normally, may correction talaga yan. Hindi nga na-fill yung gap, eh. So, that's strong pa rin, no? Strong uh, performance pa rin ng index. So, This week, saan papunta ang market? Okay. So, check natin ang... Uh, nakita na natin yung US, di ba? So, ang US is nag-rally na. Di ba? Ayun, no? Lakas na ng rally niya. Actually, ang Philippines, nandito lang sa area na to. Nandito. Nagpo-consolidate dito. Ang US, nandun na. Di ba? So, we are lagging na naman. Again, um, lagger na naman ang Philippines kasi, you know, up na siya na 7% tayo, nagko-consolidate pa lang dito sa part na ito. Diba? So, yun yung difference. Okay? So, balikan natin si PSE. O, yun. So, kita nyo, diba? Nandito pa lang tayo nagko-consolidate. Si US nandito na sa taas. Okay. So, next is, tingnan natin yung Asia. Okay? If you look at the Asian peers ng mga indices ng, ng Philippines, o, kung mapapansin nyo, Okay, alsin natin ito si Hong Kong. Kasi si Hong Kong may uh, 
internal problem no with China. So remove na natin 'yan. Kung papansin natin, lahat is going up no from Vietnam, Taiwan, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia. Kita nyo, yung Philippines ito. Yan, yan ang Philippines. So, siya lang yung sideways, no? Siya lang yung sideways. The rest are breaking out. Okay? The rest is breaking out. Sabihin, naiiwan lang tayo. We're actually a laggard in global market, no? In compared to uh, uh, US and Asia. Pero, alam nyo naman, yung Philippines, if we uh, look at the EP, no, which is the MSCI shares, ang EP is uh, about to break out na. Okay? So, ayun. Uh, tinan nyo natin itong mabuti. Ito yung consolidation. Breakout na siya. Sina-challenge siya na yung high na yun. Diba? So, that's EP. Again, going back sa Philippines. PSE. Yun. Ito pa lang tayo. Diba? Dito pa lang nagko-consolidate. So, this coming week, um, we think na the PSE will challenge number one. No, number one, this um, M8. 50. Okay? That's MA50. So, pwedeng i-challenge yan ngayong linggo. Plus, pag naka-successful, no, then it can challenge the high of 6.5. So, yun lang muna. No? 6.5. Kasi nga, given the 75 basis points. So, normally, it's a range trade. Okay? So, ang support natin will be around uh, dito. Ayan. 6.1 hanggang 6.80. Uh, 6.080. Okay, lagyan na nga lang natin ng range. Ayan, so mula dito hanggang dito muna. So that's a 6% range for the Philippines. Ang problem is nasa gitna. So are, are you buying? No, bibili ka ba? Of course not. Kasi nasa gitna yan. So the best thing is you buy dito pag nag pullback Or you buy on breakout which is actually I think uh, baka, baka mabull trap kayo pag nag breakout. No? Unless ganito, breakout and retest. Okay, parang ganito. Baka breakout niya, nag-retest. So, doon ang buy sa, sa retest. Mas safe yun kaysa during sa breakout. Kasi baka bull trap. Kasi nga, uh, goods naman. Uh, goods naman. Kasi nga, di ba, mababa na yung CPI. Pero, don't um, forget na still ghost month ngayon. So, manipis na yung volume ng Philippines. Baka lalo pang numipis yan. Kasi hindi nag-trade yung mga kaibigan nating Chinese dyan. Mga tropang Chinese. Kawai, kawai. And yun, vacation sila kapag ghost month. And yun, yung tropa nating Chinese pag umuwi ka. Kita kids. <laughs> Chat lang. Alright, so that's all for Philippines. Uh, ingat-ingat sideways yan. With slight bull bias. No? Slightly bull bias. So, ipon lang habang nag uh, rearrange Habang nag ng breakout. Remember, ang Philippines, kapag yan ay na-overdone and pag pumasok ang foreign fund dyan, Bigla-bigla lang sumasabog yan. No, hindi ka aantayin. Okay? Hindi yan nagsasabi na magra-rally na siya. Um, inip, ano yan eh? Inip. Inip talo. No, iinipin ka ng todo tapos biglang puputok. Parang ito. No, interest space. Biglang pumutok. Diretso walang patid. No? So, isang diretsong rally. Binigyan ka agad ng 20%. And then, tapos na yung rally. Tulog na ulit. And then, ito. Inip na naman. Di ba? Inip talo. Biglang putok ng market, 9% up to uh, 20%. No, bago nag-correct, 22%. Tapos, another sideways na naman. Sideways, iniptalo ka na naman. Walang gagawin. Tapos, biglang boom. Di ba? Boom, rally na naman siya. So, sagad niya is 13%. So, normally, you know, 18, 22, and 13. So, palaging ganyan ang karakteristik ng PSE dahil sa liquidity issue. Manipis kasi yung liquidity pag pumasok yung foreign fund. Diba? Lalo ngayon, malapit ng MSCI. So, let's hope na magkaroon ng additional weight sa MSCI ang Philippines. And sigurado, bomba na naman yan ng ganyan. So, pinakamagaling yan is accumulate as low as you can. And pag nag quick. No? Quick yan and very steep. So, benta and then abang ulit sa baba. Pero, again, we can uh, also consider trend following kasi nga we are changing our call from bearish to neutral. Okay? It doesn't mean na bull run yan. No? Hindi yan bull run. Sideways yan. Kasi kailangan uh, habang nasa recession and habang uh, nag-e-effect pa. Ano, may, may, may 
impact pa yung Federal Reserve interest rate hike, dapat magawa ng government ng solution yung yung uh, presyo ng oil and commodities sa global. Like yung war, so dapat magbigyan ng solution yun. Otherwise, uh, we are nearing the stagflation and yun, kapag ma- nasa, uh, nasa recession ka na pero ang taas pa rin ng inflation dahil nga hindi na solutionan yung main issue which is the war, edi it will cause stagflation that will create another sell-off sa market. So, we're not out of the woods. That's why ang call natin is sideways with slightly bull bias. No? Pero pag pag na solutionan yung uh, problem sa oil sa uh, Ukraine and so on yung war, then it can be the start of a bull run. All right, so that's all for uh, today. Uh, thank you for watching and again if you want to uh, join our Discord community, just uh, click the join button here sa subscribe ng YouTube and then yun, makakapasok kayo sa subscriber or sa Discord ng mga YouTube subscribers. Right? Doon naman sa ating uh, mentoring program, uh, we will announce soon. No? Malapit na yun. Alright, so that's all. Thank you for watching and see you sa Wednesday sa live charting. Hello guys, welcome sa Hybrid Analytics YouTube channel. In this channel, we are uh, making a lot of review every week ng mga stock request, no? Galing sa ating Facebook group. And then, pakasubscribe natin, i-click natin yung bell tapos select natin yung all para may notifications kayo every time na nag update tayo or nagpo-post tayo sa community. Okay, so dito sa community, meron tayong mga ilang announcement mga as in the community ng lahat ng nag-subscribe. And then, if you want to learn more about stock market, just check our playlist. And then, ayan, nandito yung ating mga stock market learning resources. Meron din tayo dyang uh, free webinar series, 17 videos, no? Yung isa is 19 videos. We also have here a join button, so if you want to unlock yung mga video na for members only. Anyway, uh, if you want to uh, vote dito sa ating mga stock requests, yung chart natin every week. So, just uh, join our Facebook group, Philippine Stock Market Analytics, okay? So, join lang kayo dito para makapag-vote kayo dito sa ating poll na chinachart naman natin every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? Last day rin tayo nag-poll para sa live charting every Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay, so join lang kayo dito. Uh, Philippine Stock Market Analytics, TFT Institute. Enjoy watching guys and thank you for supporting our channel.